Hi everyone, out for a walk with the dog, and I just wanted to give you an update on the first part of the CNC controller box build. I forgot to mention in there that before or after you cut your wires, you want to make sure that your ATX power supply is actually working. And to do this, if you look at the diagrams on my Facebook page or in that video, your power on button is a green wire and you connect that to any of the black ground wires that will power up your power supply what i would do is take and twist those two together and wire nut them first and then plug in your power supply and as soon as you plug in your power supply it should fire up and then take yourself a voltage tester and test between the yellow and one of your ground wires which is black and make sure you have 12 volts also do the same between a black wire, which is your ground, and a red wire. And you should get five volts on there. Um, I had forgot to add that into the video, and I realized that after the fact. Uh, you want to make sure you test this power supply before you install it and build everything, or you're going to be disappointed when you have to replace it. Watch for the new video to be coming out next week for part two. You should also go and like my Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash the handyman NY uh, because I'll be uploading the complete parts list to that page all the images and suppliers this is only to build my build um, you can do any adjustments add-ins or anything you want but you're gonna be on your own for direction so just keep that in mind I actually built mine the first time which is in the original video using a four axis uh, breakout board and I ended up changing that to a different breakout board so I can control my spindle because I've also purchased a spindle and a VFD and we'll get to that down the road so thank you and keep an eye out for the next video and don't forget to go and like my Facebook page so you can get the drawings have a great day